Hey bud, here, here's that review. It's mostly just to you, so I'm not gonna make it formal, but uh, I'll go into attack number six and kind of let you know what I saw. I looked at it briefly before, and so the first thing is is that without even seeing your attack, um, I agree that the attack angle comes from this way. Uh, the reason why is I think the value of getting the queen's good all right, I think there's probably a least likely air tornado in this direction for some reason. Just it's just a feel. Um, and being on this side, it's you know got quick access to here. So that's where I before I even saw your attack. So I, I agree with that hit that angle somewhere in this vicinity is pretty good. Um, you know, let's see. Then kind of going over here, are there going to be any challenges? And so. I looked at your, if we go into your replay now, hold on, I got to take it off this little thing here, replay, and then I pause it. Now, I don't know what attack you were hitting it with, so I come over here and I see it's mostly an air attack. All right, and then I see the invisibilities. I'm thinking you have super whizzies in there. You're using the earthquake maybe to get some additional value uh, to get through the core fast, and then you finish up with bats. All right, it's not my typical... Uh, attack, but I, I see what you're doing with the invis. We're gonna kind of, kind of bomb this thing, all right. And so if I go over here, with what you got, all right, I agree these are issues. Um, whether or not the value is there with the uh, those kind of like those guys, I don't know. I don't even think you need it, man. You know, but you're short on spells. I'm thinking freeze personally, but it doesn't work with bat spells. So let's just kind of go through and let's, uh, I'll, I'll give you what I see as I see it. So I'm going to hit play two times because you already know the attack. We come over here. If you could get this thing in two, um, I think it's worth it. But if you can't, it's tough. I think right there, that one on the right, that was pretty much the plan. All right. See, it's huge value. And then this is where... I think those bowlers, maybe you've practiced it in FCs, but the bowlers threw me when I saw it. They can get locked on to the wrong friggin' thing, and I don't know if you'd have enough invisible spells, all right, to recover if it locks onto some target you don't want, and it's just going and going and going. So I think it's very risky using the bowlers. Um, maybe there's a bowler bounce you're going for, a certain angle, but just risky. Um, so that one caught me by surprise, all right? You ended up getting it, so okay, accomplished, all right? But I think you would have got more value with whizzies, all right? Um, just because doing it enough, if I were to tell you, if you landed in here, I think with the explosion here, you could have gotten uh, these or at least damaged those so that way there wasn't much going on. You might have been able to send in your royal and do a massive cleanup here because the whizzy splash hits those weakens them and then the royal could have gone in over here if you needed it let's say that you know this guy was an issue for you in your attack strategy so that's that's how i look at some of that so let's kind of continue uh yeah you don't have the extra freeze to kind of stop that guy but he got away pretty cool all right so you earthquake this all right that's pretty cool um he is your next problem and now the bats are coming out. And right here, because I've been using bats a lot, I can see that the really the only uh, the only challenges um, are, are really these guys, these and multi infernos. So landing pad is pretty clear because um, you got one freeze for any problem. You know, if we can get this guy distracted, which he should be in the, with the king, um, it's going to be just lights out with the the bat spells all the way down here all right um there you go and we got one freeze for this little party over here uh yeah this is where it fizzles it's a tough little setup with only one freeze you know hmm so how could you have improved that uh the value, I think I watched it the second time. It wasn't this time. I'll go back. It was the Royal. And I wanted to see what work the Royal was doing. Was she getting hung up on a hero? And if she was, I don't think there's much value sending her towards the heroes. I want her to take out all the defenses. And so I think, if I go four times speed, I think you send in the Royal straight in here. 
And I don't know if that was planned or if that was just recovery um, going through just the cleanup here. Maybe you wanted more with the bounces or something like that or the those Teslas. And so here, uh, let's see if I can zoom in. I don't think she's in yet. All right. Is she in? Yep, she's right there. Always a pain to find. So she's right there. You send her in. All right. I go to two times speed. I watch her. She's tanking. All right. Those dragons should be tanking for these guys right here. You don't want her taking one, one bit. And so had she come along. Come on, phone. Can't got three fingers and whatnot. Um, I'd love to be able to FC this again because I think you might have been able to get some uh, ridiculous power if you drop the FC over here. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, not the FC. The Royal Champion over here with those bat spells. And so you throw the bats for cover, and then you follow up with the Royal, and you would have just tear down here. I bet you the Royal would have beat the bats here, all right? Just getting from, you know, there was a couple things in here, and so they would have stalled. She would have gone this way. And so you would have had a Royal over here uh, taking all these targets, and the bats could have wiped it out. And that one move might have been a difference. And that's just simply uh, a timing thing. It's tough. So that's why I'd love to be able to see it. So overall, uh, decent attack. I saw what you go.